Water is a, an essential element for the life of man, animals and plants. It is also a precious resource, widely used in some uh, industries such as agriculture, production or tourism. We increasingly try to control it, but we're increasingly dependent on this resource which is uh, distributed in various ways in time and space, and recently because of uh, high temperatures we have uh, found it difficult to manage water. We may therefore wonder what the future will be of this resource in the uh, event of a climate change. Before we look at the future, let us look at the past. What is a drought and what lessons can we learn from the past? Theoretically, drought is a shortage of a number of elements in the water cycle. There can be weather or climate droughts, agricultural droughts, when there is less water than normal in aquifers and reserves, and this uh, makes it difficult to uh, water plants. And there are hydrological droughts when there is not enough water in the rivers and aquifers. Let's take the example of 2003, a very dry and hot summer. It was not a weather drought because uh, rainfall was normal on most of the French territory, but it can be defined as an agricultural drought. Temperature were high in the spring and the soils were dried out too early. And if we look at the past, we will see that uh, rainfall does not show any trend, neither upwards nor downwards over the last 50 years. However, river flow observations measured on rivers that are not influenced by dams or pumping systems show a downwards trend, especially in the area circled in blue southwest of France. This downward trend may be associated either to the natural variability of the climate, because the climate has always been variable and will continue being so in the future, or else it can be attributed to the un ongoing uh, anthropic climate change. We cannot say today which is the predominant factor. But the trends are there. And now let us look at the future. First of all, regarding rainfall, precipitations. According to the climatic scenarios, there would be a downward trend in southern France, especially in the summer, for the Mediterranean basin. But there are also two other processes, evapotranspiration, and the second is snow. Evapotranspiration is the direct evaporation of water from the ground, plus the water extracted by the roots of plants and trees that need water to grow. This accounts for two-thirds of the rainfall, and the flow in rivers only accounts for one th or represents one third of the rainfall. In the future climate, evapotranspiration will increase because plants will need more water to be able to grow. In the spring, evapotranspiration increases, which dries out the soil until the breaking point in the summer when the soil becomes too dry and a drought starts. And therefore, in the future, evapotranspiration will be reduced during the summer. The second key process regards snow and mountain rivers or rivers directly downstream of mountain streams. In the future, snow will melt earlier in the year and faster. And therefore, in the summer, the rivers, the mountain rivers will dry out. This is going to be a second aggravating factor for hydrological resources and the water cycle. If we combine those factors, we can have a look at the impact this will have on river flows over France. This map shows you the uh, trends for river flow variations between now and the climate we should get by the mid-20th century. The trend is obviously a downward trend, and some areas are more impacted, especially southwest of France, where the flow would be divided by two. Another area that would be uh, impacted would be part of the uh, River Seine basin. So land 
dryness or drought, agricultural droughts, will increase in the future. Whichever climate scenario we go for, 80% of uh, the uh, territory will be impacted by this kind of drought by the uh, end of the uh, 21st century. Meaning that, for instance, in 1990, which uh, was the uh, largest uh, known land drought, would actually, by the end of this century, become a uh, wetter than usual year. The climate change is definitely going to bring in its wake big changes regarding water resources uh, in France. We should expect more frequent and more serious droughts by the end of the century, especially in southwestern France, leading to uh, huge problems for water resource management if no measures are taken. What can we do in, Troy in order to mitigate the impact of uh, these droughts? First of all, we should try and mitigate the uh, global warming trend and also learn to adjust. This means consuming less water, consuming water in a more efficient way, and developing developing method to manage and, and face situations of water shortage because they will happen in the future.